How you doing, guys? Welcome. My name is Oscar Ramos, and this is a live cryptocurrency live. Everybody, welcome back. And it's always good to be back in my studio back home. I had a great time with my family and friends during the holidays, but it's always great to be looking at a new year. And well, there's tons to talk about, to be honest with you guys. I'm super happy to see you here. And well, I think this Cat Jam has the best, I will say, spirit for the beginning of 2022. Uh, the live of the crypto market right now, definitely not what a lot of people were expecting, especially in the end of 2021. And as we begin in 2022, what I'm going to be doing for you by the end of this live is to show you how we started in 2021 and how we are starting now in 2022. I do remember quite vividly because yours truly started doing crypto one year ago. So definitely for me, it's personal and I know this is not going to be the last crypto crash I'm going to be seeing or crypto, I uh, will say, pullback or drop, whatever you want to call it. Definitely a crash will be something much lower by looking at the previous lows. So not there yet, not even on Bitcoin or Crocoin or any other like BNB, the top 10 cryptocurrencies by market cap. So I will tell you, um, it's not happy to see the cryptos that we long and, and, and hope for have an amazing, successful rate, uh, but it's all right. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, we know we're, do, we're doing this for the long haul. So welcome, everybody. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, and turn on those notification bells. Super happy and uh, extremely grateful for another beautiful year uh, back with you guys. What's going on, everybody? We have WAD in the chat. Blessings. Morning. Some people are watching me from all over parts of the world. So um, who from here, guys, is feeling what the cat is feeling, right? <laughs> Some people, you guys are saying broke. It happens. <laughs> but uh, definitely it is what what we expect in this um in this crypto movements, uh, what I'll tell you right now is, well, even though the cryptocurrency market market um, price is destroyed completely, uh, I will say less than three months ago, we were looking at three trillion dollars. Now it's still climbing close to the one trillion. So I'm going to I'm, I'm asking myself, right? You know, this is not financial advice for entertainment purposes only, guys. I'm asking myself, Oscar, was it worth it? Putting one year of your life in cryptocurrency, is your money moving up? Is your money giving it like there's the money invested in crypto giving you some results? And what I'll tell you guys is I'm learning so much every single day in crypto that it makes sense. And I enjoyed a lot. What's going to happen is in the next bull runs and cycles, I'm going to see all my effort put in successfully and for, um, just blossom those nice uh, sacrifices that we made with a lot of the staking that we've doing thus far. So what I'll tell you guys is uh, pretty much, I know there's a lot of people that say it, like zoom out and buying the dip. It does help. But let me tell you one more thing that um, it caught my attention because I've been looking at a lot of news and do you, uh, you guys who are watching will probably understand this too. Guess who, are, guess who are the people who are making themselves so millionaires and so rich right now? Um, the people who are providing the shovels for the people who do, um, go and mine the gold. What happened, of course, I'm not going to give you a history lesson right now, but in the gold rush here in the United States, a lot of people were trying to find the gold, right? Um, not too versed in the history in that regard, but what the, the point of the story is that if imagine the companies selling the shovels, the equipment, the tools, so the gold hunters can do their job successfully and mine the gold. Well, in this case, guess who are the people, the institutions that are really becoming very powerful and wealthy? Well, yes, you guessed it. The cryptocurrency exchanges, guys. Those guys and those companies are wow. Like in 2021, probably had the best year recorded thus far. And a good question that uh, even the tech lead, I'm, 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 I'm taking this from the tech lead, um, which is very important, right? Uh, I think the, the point he said is that <laughs> Do you think those people are buying the, the latest Shiba Inu, Dogecoin, or cryptocurrency that comes to the market? Probably not. They're actually building the tools so they sell it to us, and then we buy them believing that we're going to be getting the latest or the last coin to 10x. So that's what's happening in the market right now. It's good to analyze it from that front, providing this golden nugget to you guys. Um, 
of course, not a, not many of us aspire to be a, a cryptocurrency exchange owner. Uh, we Some of us want to just take it easy and buy our cryptos and then have it there for the long future, like me. But later on, who knows, right? Uh, this is just kind of like a piece of advice or I will say some good information, in my opinion. Astrolano, welcome aboard, everybody, with his first super chat of the night. Oh, Let's go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. We got the alerts back <laughs> all righty guys so let's go ahead and get started in this live i'm gonna go over crow coin i'm gonna go over shiva inu am token baby and a couple other cryptos too man isn't this exciting so thus far let's see how we stand here definitely everybody what a drop that we had what a drop that we had but it is what it is let me go ahead and take a look at the comments right now we have uh, alex tim lucas what's going on guys Astralena, John, Ronnie, Ryan, Marks, Michael, Adam, and Christopher, and many, many more. Love you guys. Thank you for being here. Um, it's been a while. It's been since, I, I still remember, since December 4th, 2nd, 3rd, around that time, that we haven't had a, a nice run or a nice pump consecutively and collectively in the cryptocurrency markets. During that time, we had... VVS doing something. We had uh, Cosmos doing very well. Terra Luna breaking. I mean, we had some couple of coins doing very well, but not the cryptocurrency market as a whole. That means that most of us are not scared to be putting money in the market, even though when things are hard, when things are really red. That's what I'm doing thus far. And let me tell you with you and share it, guys, that I'm, very, I'm getting, getting very close to one of my foundations in general. Um, now, for those who are watching and like retirement and long-term boring index funds, New Year just started. So I'm probably going to be maxing my Roth IRA with $6,000. Um, I know I don't talk too much about Roth IRA, but I do I do it. I do have some tutorial videos in my channel. And uh, Roth IRA, I think, is good. So I have it. <laughs> welcome, guys. Welcome. Thanks for the updates. Of course. Of course. So... Let's see what's happening, uh, what's happening in the markets right now. So take a seat, relax. I'll do the work for you. So Bitcoin, of course, less than 8.68%. Actually, just remember, and I'm going to do it very quickly because you guys know my computer cannot handle this for a while. Uh, so the crypto bubble is kind of providing another tip or another um, way of me explaining this. The last hour, we see everything, I mean, super down. The entire market's not really doing as we expected. The last week, we start seeing more red. Okay, a couple of uh, of altcoins like Atom, uh, Link have one doing better. We have, boom, in the month, more green, guys. So that is really good. Look at all this green. And in the last year, do you see any red? Well, with this good news, guys, thank you, Lucas Negron. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Lucas, there you go. There you go. Thank you so very much, Lucas, for the another super chat. We're going to have my alert. Read it. Oh, what do you think about Silga? Yeah. Thank you so much, Lucas. Appreciate it. What do you think about Zilliqa? Zilliqa. I'm going to do this for you, uh, Lucas, since I'm about to start anal analyzing Crocoin and the other ones. I'm going to leave that for the end. I'm going to write it down so I'm not going to forget it. All right. Silica. And the reason why is because I haven't heard of this one at all. Silica. I have no idea what it is, but I'm going to have it. I'm, I have it right in front of me right now. There you go, guys. Welcome. Welcome. Adam says market is just flat now. So let the holidays get behind us. Think we see a rally early spring. That's what I'm thinking too, guys. Like I'm not, I'm not rushing. Let me tell you that. I'm not rushing. All right, guys. So we're looking right now. Before I start with Crowcoin, you have to know this. Um, and this is very important because if you start seeing reasons why the crash happened or reasons why, you know, the drops are happening, a lot of them are, are, are going to tell you, like me, the Fed minutes, uh, the new variant that we're seeing right now worldwide. So definitely a lot more sell-offs that are happening. Um, and this is one thing that it's great for us to see. Imagine this, what you're seeing right now on the screen, all of this happened starting the pandemic. What we're seeing thus far is, pro I mean, this is Bitcoin. You're seeing the price of Bitcoin. This is the aftermath of what started on February 2020 with the pandemic. 
I mean, thus far you see that the price of Bitcoin hasn't moved there yet. But let me show you something, if you weren't aware. What you're seeing right now on the screen is here on this uh, yellow circle. It, this is the pandemic. When it all started, I remember so well, guys, because I was there. I was barely starting my investing journey in February, around February 2020th. Take a look at this. Bitcoin, February the 20th, um, 2020 and early March dropped massively right about here, everybody. This was Bitcoin with the start of the pandemic. Look at it. From 10,000, I'm going to go ahead and grab this beauty for you. There it is. From $10,000 all the way to $3,900 when the pandemic started in 2020. What's happening right now is that, of course, as the new variant that's happening, Omicron, that is never good, of course, for the markets, this is what's happening too. What happened yesterday with the Fed minutes, of course, altering the entire cryptocurrency market, not good for us not good for us. So that being said, there's a couple of things that are bringing the prices down. It is what it is. Um, that incentivizes people um, and holders to sell the whales or the institutional investors to liquidate a couple of the, a couple of their millions of Bitcoins um, or hundreds of thousands of Bitcoins. Uh, but on the other hand, other whales also keep buying and expect retail investors to sell and panic. My take is don't panic. It's all going to be fine. Zooming out, understanding that this happens and it's all going to be fine. All right. Then that's a very important for any serious investors to know. What we're seeing thus far in the price of, of cryptocurrency, I mean, Bitcoin coming all the way to 60, almost, I mean, 65 and um, here on November 9th to the all time high of 69,000. Uh, coming all the way down, of course, to 42,000 that it is right now. I don't think we have lost the battle yet. And this is what I'm going to be referencing throughout the live. Look at this, guys. This is the same low that we had on December the 3rd. So it hasn't been not even a month there yet. And we're back to that price. We came all the way up. We started there for a while in this Fibonacci retracement. And then we're coming back down. In this case... These are the lows, I would call it the warning lows of the 2021. We're still here, May, June, and July, the 20th, the 22, the 22, one month apart from each other. Isn't that insane, guys? Let's go. Definitely the birds are here, guys. Astroleno, definitely we're in this situation, but I'm not selling. How about you guys? That being said, Let's go, everybody. And as you know, I got my cup right here. Bam! Texas, baby. Let's go. Crow coin, Shiba Inu, Am token, and many more altcoins. So all of that previous information helps you guys understand what's happening. And um, at the beginning of the 2020, right, when uh, the coronavirus started, it dropped from $10,000 all the way to $3,000. That's a big drop. That's more than 50%. So we started thinking about it. Okay, well, if the price of Bitcoin was 45000 46000 or around 50000 before uh, Omicron was released to the press, and we expect at around 50% drop as, the, as this new variant continues, can we be looking at 25,000 Bitcoin later on throughout the year? So that will be a massive verb market upcoming. Just giving you this data and this information so you don't forget, right? Because we all want it to be 100,000 for sure. But this pandemic is not really helping the cost for us holders. Classic. WID, not selling, buying. Cheers. All right. <clears throat> I think that's us for me to understand too because i mean come on we want the we want the gains for sure in bitcoin and in ethereum and any others of um any of this cryptocurrency right but if it's dropping of course doesn't make it very sexy for us to invest but it is what it is guys that's one of the reasons um why i always recommend 
do not panic sell, always diversify and buy what you can afford losing. That was the team in 2021 and will continue in 2022. So let's go, everybody. Come on now. Crocoin, everybody. Oh, how sexy Crocoin. So what's happening on Crocoin right now? So let's go ahead and start analyzing, shall we? From the bottom right here on November 1st, all the way to the top on November 24th, we see a massive jump in price. Definitely, if you're looking at me and saying, Oscar, but I bought around 80 cents, 90 cents, and the price didn't reach a dollar, no way. I mean, come on. I mean, you are have to be expecting a drop in Crocoin. That's just as a fact. What I'm looking here is, um, I will say something that has happened previously with ACH Crypto, with I'm talking with Shiba Inu, um, with uh, with many other different ones that are pumped and then they just stay there for a while and then not continue coming up. Um, those projects are really good. The problem is that we're just not in the cycle there yet for altcoins to rise. Um, definitely today I see a video from Coin Bureau talking about Cardano. And I mean, you remember Cardano, it's a massive one. Definitely a habit, highly recommended, but it's still not putting the numbers yet. Charles Hoskinson couldn't care about the price just to give you some tips. <clears throat> Bro, I literally wanted one Bitcoin to bounce off $15. <laughs> there you go. Cheers, Sam, of course. So looking at this with Crocoin, guys, what are we looking right now? Well, as I mentioned earlier today, yesterday I posted a video about Crow. Of course, what's happening? Why is it crashing? I, just men I, I mentioned this early, um, just a couple of minutes ago. So right now, what I'd like to reference to, guys, is these three dots right here. One two and three definitely this is fantastic it's respecting the fibonacci retracement if we start here at the bottom the beginning of the of the pump we had an absolutely a nice 61 percent retracement since the beginning all the way to the top and now right here 61 percent retracement that is good definitely the positions for us to be buying Great move for traders and for people who are looking to make a lot of money in the short term. Definitely. Uh, in my case, I'm staking. How about you guys? Happy New Year, Mohamed. Glad to have you here. So that is for uh, for this one. I'm going to go ahead and get closer. I'm going to take a look and see what we what we can find on the four hour chart Four hour chart. Oh, yes. I, I like this way better. I like this way better. I'm going to go ahead and close this beauty. There you go, guys. So you can take a look at this one. I'm going to go ahead and resize my camera. There you go. That's even better. So what we're looking right now, massive, you know, dumps right here from 50, from 49 cents all the way to 60, guys. Look at how powerful Crook can be. That's another one, too. That's another one, too. Um, I got to be smart and alert. Um, what we can expect from the upcoming rise of Crocoin, I mean, there's a lot of people who are bowing and the, the vibe, <laughs> the hype on Crocoin is still alive, I'm going to tell you. So I do expect coming in to at least this field natural retracement to the 50% soon, soon. Now, here's another thing that we have to understand. These three bottoms do signal a possible break in the support. That's one thing that I do have to remember. If Bitcoin does not correct and continues at least to stabilize and continue to go up, that's going to affect the entire market. That is one thing that um, I have present and I'm holding, guys. I'm holding for sure, for dear life. <laughs> not selling, definitely, because as I mentioned, I did have some positions adding to crawl a couple of days ago, so way before the dip, classic. But it is what it is. Nothing like a great Fed minutes coming in and ruining your week or the beginning of the year. But if, if there's something that I got to tell you guys from experience is that um, the beginning of 2021 for me was great because I was buying Ethereum and it was rising all the way to the moon. I am forecasting for my portfolio at least that once we are out of this mess, the next bull cycle will be insane. I think that will be life changing for a lot of us. And you can easily, if you want, get out after that life cycle. And I'm going to give you some ideas as to as far as when it might happen. So you guys have a better idea to that. 
So let's go, everybody. Let's go. That's the idea. Different cycles coming into the cryptocurrency spaces. That's what I want to do, guys, for this. So that is this one. Let's go ahead and take a look at Shiba Inu, how it's doing right now, guys. Bam! Shiba Inu. Where's the Shiba Inu armor right now? Looking. Definitely not so many good news on Shiba Inu um, when it comes to the price. However, however, have you guys looked? Oh, I, I actually I want to uh, point out to something to my price predictions, guys, to something that I was looking accordingly and not changing some uh, prices as we were ending 2021. Take a look at this, guys. We completely got crushed in the price of Shiba Inu. We came all the way to this Fibonacci retracement. If we start from the bottom all the way to the top, and we couldn't even come close to the four zeros five. So all of these predictions, right, still coming very far from reality. From reality, bro, markets are on sale. That's true, Astro. That's absolutely true. Let's go, everybody. How's everybody doing right now? This nice day, even though, of course, is we got destroyed. Retail investors, most of us got destroyed. But if you're not selling, then you should be you shouldn't be even concerned too much. All right. I'm going to go ahead and delete this once. There you go. For Shiva Inu, guys, what I will tell you is that it's it's doing what they're supposed to be doing. Mommy of the Ark in the house. What's going on, buddy? Be happy member right now. Welcome, welcome. Blue Color Jose, what's going on, guys? Mana recovering good. Mana is doing very well right now, which is great. Um, Metaverse, that's why I have mana, man. I got to tell you, that's why I have mana. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm holding those good cryptocurrencies right there, including this ones that I mentioned in Shiba Inu and Crocoin. Some of them winning, and those are my gains for the day. So I like it. I like it. Always put it on something that you can earn interest like Gemini. So if you don't have a Gemini account, I have a link in the description down below. You can stay uh, earn interest on um, mana and on many other different cryptocurrencies, including I'm talking. So right now, one of the things that I like about Shiba Inu, guys, is it at least is still holding the price uh, from the previous pump. That's one thing I like it. Now, of course, if you go to Twitter, oh, yeah, we were having so much fun with this one. Take a look at this. Adam just saying eight hours ago, I have repeatedly asked, that he's been repeatedly asked, when AMC expects to accept Dogecoin and Shiba Inu for all, any and all payments made via AMC website and mobile app. So that's going to be huge. Definitely allowing paying not Longer with the gift cards, right? But now with the website and the mobile app, that's fantastic. He's looking for the Q1 implementation around March. So like three months from now. That is really good, everybody. That is really good. What do you guys think? Yes, mana quick swap pump today. So that is great stuff. You bought some more mana today. That's great stuff, bro. So that is too. Um, as you know, guys, I way, way more favor Shiba Inu than Dogecoin in my case. But... I mean, Dogecoin is still doing fantastically when it comes to market capitalization. No problem with that. All of all of the cryptocurrencies definitely carry a risk, but you have to find the ones that at least have a little bit more utility if that's the case for these cryptos. So waiting, waiting, waiting on um, Robin Hood oftentimes is going to be helping a lot of the hype. If you're watching this, uh, are in the Chiba Inu army, Maybe if you are for the long term, so this doesn't apply to you. But if you are in the Shiba Inu coin and you want to get out, I will tell you, well, I mean, this is just different concepts and different situations for all, all kinds of people. Wait for the next pump, probably from Robinhood listing Shiba Inu. When is that going to happen? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. From now on, it's all rumors, and I'm not really big on rumors. So definitely nobody knows at this time. They haven't said officially on the Twitter account or website. But um, I do predict that that will give some certain level of pump. Not that high from what I was expecting before, because we had... Um, what was cracking adding Shiba Inu, and it did not much. I believe this was cracking on November 30 or so. And then, so it was a pretty good price, but it came all the way off. So what's happening on Shiba Inu and other different cryptocurrencies, such as AM token, is that people are just using them to trade it. 
and to buy it and sell it, not really to hold it. And this is something, guys, that honestly I'm learning now when it comes to cryptocurrencies. So listen to this. Understand that a lot of whales know that we exist, like the community success, that we want some prices to go much higher. But they do also control a lot of the market share of that specific cryptocurrency. So I think what they do is they bank on us, the retail investors who are holders. They clam up the price a lot by buying. So we are very happy on this. And then they start selling and they will repeatedly and constantly do it, do it, do it, not really letting the price to come up. But of course, that is not an efficient way of climbing the price all the way up. Should be with utility, implementation, scalability. But I mean, these are just some of the thoughts that I've had from owning all of these cryptocurrencies and holding them at a nice price. So let's go. Gala also doing well. Really? That's great. Let's go ahead and refresh this and take a look at what's doing right now. These are some of my first impressions when it comes to um, Crocoin and Shiba Inu and all of these beauties. Take a look at this. I saw that this uh, mana decentral, and here it is, 13% up. So what in the world? Because I see Sandbox not doing the same. But hey, the central land doing very well. We take those wins, definitely. How about Gala? People are saying about Gala to Gala. Here it is. It's, uh, it's not that much, but it really took a hit, 20%. So these are some of the plays that were in the previous uh, cycle, in the previous run uh, in 2021, late 2021. So that's what we got, everybody. That is great stuff. So that is Shiva Inu. Oh, baby, the good almighty AMP token. Where's the AMP part right now? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go ahead and take a look at AMP token for a bit. Man, wow. Look at this price. It's obliterated. <laughs> wow. So. Let's go ahead. And, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this for a while. So. um. Eight cents price prediction by the end of 2021 didn't happen. Six cents mid price prediction for 2021 didn't happen. We ended the price missing it on four eight four eight. So close to the fives four eight. Okay, okay, I see. So I was expecting something much higher, and oh baby. I remember those mid-year 2021 predictions and I'm talking. I remember you guys were here with me. We were looking at something about passing 10 cents or so. And I was saying, you guys, I'm very bullish on AMP. I think we're going to be looking at passing 10 cents too. Uh, but this happened. And with this, I'm learning that it, um, in a way, I mean, rushing a cryptocurrency price prediction by the end of a specific year, not too wise, but of course, another reminder that um, you always have to diversify because things happen, you know, they don't always favor you. And if you put all your money here and I'm talking at the beginning of a year or so, and if it doesn't turn out the way that you want, then definitely uh, you're going to be ending losing some money or getting frustrated, right? And I don't want that. Um, the project, we talked about it for a while, super amazing project with Flex Network that allows you to pay with cryptocurrency as a specific uh, retailer that accept the Flex Network. I'm talking collateralizes those payments on Flex Network and distributes the reward to the stakers uh, with Flex capacity. So that is fantastic. Really like what they stand for and everything that they're doing. Every single day, getting to know more information. They had the 25 days of Flex uh, at the end of 2021. What an amazing news after and after day, after day, after day, more different tokens and coins being added to the Flex and network system, uh, Cardano, Decentraland, uh, many more Solana. Honestly, I mean, who couldn't compare to I'm talking in that regard? Not really much, not really much, but um, it is what it is. So for us and for me specifically, I am still bullish and I'm talking. But now I've learned something very, very important. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out on I'm talking, right? So let's see what happened. This was 2021. These two white lines that you're seeing right now, that is 2021. And um, 
not really the best looking charts, right? We wanted to see something way better, but um, look at I'm just kind of analyze them with me for a second. So we got a nice upper price, great, but you can honestly see how it was just played like a book by the book, easily play. You pumped it, you dumped it, you pumped it, you dumped it, you pumped it, you dumped it. Not really some consistent holders when I'm talking. Not really some consistent holders where I'm talking. Okay, it's fine. Uh, definitely not the only one that suffered from this, but well, we just gotta continue uh, staking and earning that passive interest on this one. Not really gonna make you a lot of money if you're doing it on Gemini. Has to be on flex a capacity so you make more money on it. Got it? Those are some of the actual facts when it comes to I'm talking. The beautiful thing about this cryptocurrency, guys, is that it's because it's so cheap, definitely it attracts a lot of people believing that, of course, they're going to be millionaires. You have to understand that it can be true and that can totally happen. You can become an app token millionaire. However, you do need the markets to favor you in a way and to, to let the favor be uh, on your side and exit on time. Because if there's one thing that I'm going to teach you about uh, uh, cryptocurrencies is that nobody's going to be waiting on you to sell. Nobody's going to be waiting on you to sell. You need to get out as soon as you make some decent profit if you're planning to make the profit on that specific time frame. Um, or if you're planning to hold for long, then that's a different story. All righty, everybody. Crypto.com. Let's go. We're back. We're back to crow. Boom. How's everybody doing? Mommy of the Aka, thanks for the info. One up. Thank you, mommy. Appreciate it. Cardano, Cardano. Look at the Aerosite for Amp. Yes, the Aerosite for Amp should be so delicious to buy in. I cannot even tell you. <laughs> so what I believe, of course, right now is that all of the prices that we're seeing thus far are amazing, are insane, are just great, <laughs> honestly, guys. Um, what I will tell you is these are the prices that there was a day where we were killing to see these prices. We were really, really, really killing to see these prices. And finally, they happened, oh, everybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. What's going on, Quinn? Oscar, are you concerned about impairment loss on our CRO slash VVS farms? Absolutely not. I uh, I do have some farming on um, on Crow VVS Finance. I started it. I made a video on the tutorial about it uh, about a week ago or so. And I'm just there. I'm, I'm just living it there. I did it like with $50. So I'm always training with just a little bit of money. Most of the money that I have on that specific Crow BVS regard, it's on Crow coin, not on BVS. I do have some money on BVS finance, which is staking on the uh, website, the vault, where you can just auto stake it. But I know, guys, there's one thing you have to know when it comes to cryptocurrencies. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the 15 minutes. So we see the last, oh baby, a triple. Look at this nice buying. Just saw it right now. Here it is, people buying crow. There it is, people buying crow. I'm gonna go ahead and explode it because I love to see it. There you go. That's better, much better, much better. That's crow, everybody. So as I was saying, uh, VVS Finance is, is really new. Um, once again, like I mentioned when I'm talking, a lot of us, we, of course, dream on becoming millionaires or hitting the, the next uh, awesome 10x, 100x crypto, which is fine. We, and it can happen because if it happened on Shiba Inu and Dogecoin, why can it happen with another crypto that could even give you more utility or be more recognized, right? So it is just an amazing world we live in. Um, great stuff in putting money on the side for that specific crypto, VVS Finance, which I have, but always buying what you can afford losing and knowing that these crashes can happen at any time. If you're following the trends, then you will be better off and will know um, how to predict them even better. Next support at 0 0.04 for AMP token. That's nice. Right now, AMP token is 0 0.045. So yeah, that that's that makes a lot of sense. Um, if I see right now, I'm talking at around what three cents or reaching three cents. Wow, that will be a huge drop for AMP. And I mean, at that point, for AMP token, I'll be you know, 
at a loss, at a nice, decent loss. So um, to me, it's just like, at this point, I'm not going to be even thinking about selling because I still have the same amount of AMP token, AMP tokens, right? The number of crypto, they never change as long as you just keep holding. So that's fine. You got to give them more time and more years. What do you guys think? Let's go. Now, at this time, I there's my friend right now still here. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at Silica. This is a cryptocurrency that this person asked me to take a look at. So why not? Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Silica. Here it is. Sale. Haven't heard of this one. 106. That's not bad. Let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at Silica right now. 106. What are we looking at? Total supply of 15 billion, if I'm not mistaken, million, billion, and um, half of the supply. What is it doing with the price and that year to date? All time already pumped. What are we looking on the market? It's not on Coinbase. It's on crypto.com. Okay. So what does it do? It's on the Binance Smart Chain. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at what it, what does these guys do. Hmm. As of October 2020, it looks taken and yield farming. Okay. Oh, I see. So it's for yield farming purposes. It's it's a DeFi DeFi cryptocurrency. And what's the price? Six cents. And it's a uh, fifteen billion. 15 billion, 15 billion silica. Okay, 15 billion silica, not bad. Um, let's go ahead and take a 15 billion uh, circulating supply, 12 billion circulating supply, total supply, max supply, 21 billion, six. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad, to be honest with you. Design bill use pow the powerful dApps. Yeah, does look like and smells like DeFi. Well, I'll tell you, good choice. Doesn't sound that bad. Of course, we'd like to do more even uh, kind of take a look at the white paper and later on to more info. But from what I can see, does look reliable and official. World's first public blockchain to rely entirely on a shared network. Okay. Tokenomics looks decent to me. So that's great. Good job. Let's go. Welcome, everybody. Go ahead and smash the like button and consider subscribing. Oscar Ramos live. We're talking about different cryptos and definitely of what's happening in the cryptocurrency space. It's been a while since we haven't had many good news when it comes to the price. But let me tell you something as I'm getting the where is it? The crypto. Oh, here it is. It's the first one. Fear and green indexed. <laughs> what are we looking at? 18. Boom! Last week, last month, fear, fear. That's not right. It was extreme fear when I made the video today, but classic, right? Uh, we're extreme fear, everybody. It's been a while since I haven't seen it all the way right here. It's been a while. But once again, once again, it, it kind of reminds me, okay, if you want to make money in crypto, you do need to be selling, right? And I think if there's one thing you guys said, I can share with you transparently, completely full transparency is that as I continue learning more about crypto and investing, you do need to have some space for you to liquidate some positions. That's how you're going to make money and get ahead. Because if you never do that, then your um, growth can be diminished and just become very slow. Um, so that's one thing that I think when you come to the cryptocurrency space, you are sold off with the idea of selling or like holding, 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 holding and holding forever. But um, you also need to liquidate if you're planning to. Got it? <laughs> Don't show up here and greet index to a news anchor. <laughs> Look at that, Mami Abiyaka. So, yeah, I mean, those are kind of the learning lessons, in my opinion. Definitely the good news of holding great cryptocurrencies, guys, is that Eventually, they will pop off and you'll you'll be nice. You'll be nice and well set. Um, but with other cryptocurrencies that you know are very volatile, 
you gotta be liquidating and that, that i think that's a one golden piece nugget that i'm taking now for this coming year um i gotta share with you guys i'd like to share with you that I'm getting close to approaching a, a budget um, foundation that I set for myself for all my investments. Once I do that, what I'm going to be putting in, in the markets after that is going to be completely trading. I don't really want to be holding much anymore because I already have a good amount holding. So my plan is to now buy for sale, buy and sell and sell and buy and do all of those good things to make money and get ahead. So it's it's an interesting concept, right? Because some people may come to the markets and immediately and right off the get could do that, like buy Bitcoin right now, sell it later, and buy Bitcoin, sell it later. But some others like me, maybe take a little bit longer to get ahead on crypto, to learn, because there's so much to learn, honestly. There's just like every single day you can learn something and never get up to speed. But also you have to learn to a point that you can make some reliable actions and make money because this is a tough market right and um that being said in my case probably you guys relate to me probably not but whoever wh whoever relates with me to me it's finally the time for you to start making some good money and right now perfect time to buy in for example you want to you, you want me to tell you some of the cryptos that i think i'm going to be doing amazing recovery solana solana is fantastic right now Ethereum, Ethereum, I know it's very expensive um, when it comes to price. I mean, $3,300, that's for some people the, their entire paycheck. So definitely maybe not Ethereum, but um, it's, it's it's at a great price. Coming close to the $5,000, guys, uh, you know, there's a $1,000 upside easily considered and almost guaranteed on Ethereum. Um, Cardano, everybody. Cardano can be three dollars yes there's no there's no maybe there's no no in my eyes cardano is a complete yes three dollars so there's a more than 2x note i'm not saying 100x or 1000x right now this is just more like you want a reliable piece of cake that's going to make you fulfill and be enjoying this pie that's what i'm talking right now xrp definitely when it gets out of the lawsuit can explode i do believe that but I'll stay with Cardano, Solana, and Ethereum at this time. Um, I'm going to skip Shiba Inu because Shiba Inu still, I, I, I do want to see more, more price action to the positive side and get out of this 403 and come back to the 405. But I'm still holding my Shiba Inu. Let's go, of course. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and take a look at some of the comments, guys. And welcome aboard to everybody who's watching. Loading up on Crow, Carlos Montoya, what's going on? Where does the money come from for a play to earn gaming in crypto? Earn gaming in crypto. So, okay. So like playing <clears throat> for like playing, like for example, um, Axe Infinity or Mana. Uh, where does the money come from for that? Not sure. Where does the money come from for pay to earn gaming in the live crypto world? Well, I haven't done that yet. So I don't have tangible experience for example an axe infinity or a mana like gaming or playing or like trading kind of thing not there yet but typically some of those have their own tokens for example x infinity has uh slp smooth low potion so there you're getting paid you're getting some slp which has a value it's here on the cryptocurrency space so that's one thing right um that'll be an, uh, an amazing case study for sure Lucas, thanks, bro. Appreciate your time. Anytime, of course. How many cryptocurrencies enough to not over diversify, Oscar? That's a great question, Lenin. That's a beautiful, beautiful question. Um, what I'm doing right now in my case is going through sectors and industries, right? Uh, for DeFi, I like to have VVS Finance AMP token. For blockchain, I have Cardano, Algorand, Ethereum, I'm set. For uh, store value bitcoin cardano solana um i do have my uh for my exchange crypto i have crocoin so kind of going through the markets and seeing okay what it's kind of like the top or the top that i can buy right now and that's what i do if i can only go layer ones that will be cardano solana avalanche those are layer ones so you can just go through the different um cat, cat, categories that that there is on um on specific cryptocurrency 
markets and and that's what you can do in that case good question let's go <laughs> well when the us dollar falls crypto picks up we're gonna be fine everybody that's one thing i can tell you for me for me i mean uh, at the end of the day i mean we all do whatever we want because it's our money right but i'm sure we're gonna be fine because we've been here for so many times let me tell you that Crow coin 49 cents. You like this beautiful stuff. When it comes to crow, don't forget how fast it grew. So how fast it grew. So that was insane. Take a look at this. We're looking at the three months on crow coin. Look at this. This is our beautiful crow. And right now, November. November was the month of crow. Completely crush it. So what I think, everybody, is if we can hold strong our cryptocurrencies, and this is the truth, if we can hold strong our cryptocurrencies in less than a month, we can change our lives forever. That is true. That is true. And that happens so often. In less than weeks, in a couple of days, you can have a cryptocurrency explode completely all the, all the way to the moon and just have a different smile in your face <laughs> that's for a fact uh and then of course that makes totally that makes it totally worth it totally worth it so i have that on my mind and uh, when that happens when uh, my bitcoin the ethereum that i'm holding i'm talking cardano al Goran, and of course scroll coin uh, and other ones that i have that will be much 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 worth it because ever since let me tell you one on another little a little di dirty secret. Ever since I started investing in crypto, the cryptocurrencies I've been investing, they haven't exploded yet. The only one that significantly speaking did move up the ladder like a lot was Algorand. Other than that, the ones that I've been holding on, I'm staking, I'm putting on the side and earning interest on them, they haven't exploded yet. And I know they will because they have everything in at their disposal to do it. Got it? Solana is at a 40% profit at this price. Let's go. Got a feeling Bitcoin might bounce back by looking at the technical analysis. Hopefully we bounce at 41 to the upside. Bro, guys, ladies and gentlemen, the next Bitcoin run will embrace most of the icons right now that are dying. Not the only one who says it. So many more smart people than me say it too. Imagine retail investors, us are really not us that you guys are watching because we are strong. We are the ones who know what's going on, but other retail investors are really panicking, right? And going and asking and demanding and uh, whining, but we understand why this happened. We know exactly what it happened. And at the end of the day, um, definitely, if, if you are like me, who is starting to build these foundations, right? For example, is the I'm, I want to be the, that kind of Bitcoin investor in twenty in two thousand one or two uh, two thousand. Well, what am I talking about? Two thousand ten, two thousand eleven, when uh, you bought that Bitcoin and you haven't sold it yet, right? You buy it when it's cheap and then you hold it for so long. So you, you really never sell it because the price just keeps going all the way to the moon. However, in those 10 years, you know that the price has crashes, has dips, has pitfalls, has dumps and everything, but it always recovers. That's the kind of foundation I'm building right now. If that makes sense to you, let me know right now because those are the kind of investors that uh, I really like to uh, connect with even on a deeper level. If you guys have any questions, check my links down below, of course. And if you want to talk to me and get all the behind the scenes, join my Discord server. The link is down in the Patreon link below. Thanks. What's going on, buddy? Damn, my alerts aren't working and didn't know you went live. Hello, fam. What's going on, fam? What's going on? Probably you two not doing their job. Classic YouTube. What's good, Oscar? Can't wait till we're all rich of Crow and VBS Finance, the big E. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. That's why VBS Finance is another big one. Um, I was I was looking at and I saved that post, but it's on my other Facebook, not on this one. But um, Sushi Swap, Sushi Swap started at a one point eleven dollars, crashed, 
And after the years, look at it now. Not saying that VBS Finance is going to do the same, but hey, guys, cryptocurrency is barely starting. We're going to be fine. This is just a long-term hold, but like I'm saying with um, the Bitcoin holders, that's what I'm thinking when it comes to Crocoin and Algorand and, and uh, Cardano. The little or a lot of Algorand and Cardano and Crocoin that I own later on in life, can they act 10x? I don't see why not. Of course, you're then talking that the the uh, cryptocurrency market capitalization is going to be through the roof in the trillions. Yes, of course, later on when things get much better and we don't have this type of pandemic and, and money supply printing through the roof and uh, economics being destroyed and typical problems that we're facing thus far. But I mean, if you zoom out in the future, I see things getting better. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below and go ahead and give us a like and let's go. Welcome, welcome, guys aboard. We're in the Oscar Ramos Live. What a beautiful Thursday tonight. Of course. Oh, baby, a triple. That is nice. What coin do you believe in the most ill beneficial? What coin do I believe in the most? What a nice question, right? Um, from a technical perspective, I think Bitcoin and Ethereum are the two that I... Ethereum, I think, is the one that I really relate a lot because Ethereum is the only cryptocurrencies that I have massive gains on telling you right now because it was the first crypto that i bought at a nice dip price at a nice cheap price my first ethereum that i bought was at a thousand dollars guys and um and of course i'm making money on that that is great and i kept buying at 1500 at 1700 at 2000 at 2100 and 3000 i just kept buying ethereum up until I was like, you know what? Let me pivot to I'm talking and Algorand. So I decided to stop my Ethereum investing to go to other altcoins. And those other altcoins haven't really performed the way I wanted. But you guys and I know that they will, right? Usero, what's going on? Thank you. Love your videos. Appreciate it. I also like Crow. Like my portfolio of Bitcoin and many more. I'm in the market since 2020. I learned a lot. Nice. We'd love to hear that. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. I should have said altcoin, of course. Uh, Chainlink has a made of its own. Haha. <laughs> yeah, Chainlink is doing well and I still own it. I own Chainlink for sure. I think you're hot. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, maybe, but I'm not that young. Man, the years are eating us, right? <laughs> <laughs> the years are eating us. What I'll tell you guys, you guys are watching is that um, I'm going to go ahead and show you Bitcoin for a while right now because it is, it is interesting, right? 2020 starts, we had a, we just get a pandemic all of a sudden and the price of crypto goes ballistic. Definitely there's now not only institutional investors, but companies, governments, countries, right, who are now involved in crypto. So why then is the price of crypto not super mega up? Like, I mean, gold back in the day or uh, companies like Apple reaching three trillion or so. It's because it's it takes a while and a lot of people short it. Some people have long uh, long term positions. In my case, these are much needed for releasing the bitcoin or crypto that it's in the hands of the uh, of the paper hands and giving it back to the people who understand the long-term growth that it's coming i happen to be one of those crazy people who i uh, believe and invest a bunch of your money in this type of cryptocurrencies right they're risky they will require a lot for you to have diamond hands baby but i believe that sooner or later you will have what you're looking for when it comes to cryptocurrencies, right? Um, Bitcoin, guys, for a while, look at it, 2018 reached $20,000 and it went all the way down to three two thousand dollars and then now $60,000. So 
if you are not willing to hold during these hard times, then you're probably in the wrong industry. Definitely me as a content creator and many more here on YouTube, we are not tired of talking about crypto on a daily basis, but I'm gonna give you a little advice, which is not financial, it's just life advice. If you are one of those who cannot really control yourself when it comes to crypto, maybe turning off your phone and getting up, getting away from the computer might help you, right? Because this is definitely can be stressing and can affect your health if you're not taking it lightly. This is long-term investing, and that is a phrase that a lot of us like to use, but what it means is years from now. It's not going to mean tomorrow or a week from now. Long-term investing is, I believe, what a lot of a lot of investors, including myself, start with. We buy something, it may drop in price, but we want to hold it for long-term success. Well, short-term investing and what I say, trading and day trading, that is very difficult. That is understanding technical analysis at a great level, news, trends, and things that your regular person won't do because we are busy, guys. So my recommendation is starting this 2022, who are you? Are you a trader or a long-term investor? That's going to help you a lot when it comes to your sanity because it did help in my case. I came in in crypto at the beginning of 2021 and I didn't know much, but I learned and I quickly learned. Now, I mean, as a content creator, I have to be learning 5x faster than the regular person. And wow, of course, there's so many opportunities for us to become rich and wealthy. Just got to take your time and day by day, day by day, of course. So I think that's a good, important concept that I wanted to you guys let you know in this video. Um, because I think it's pretty cool. So 42,000, everybody, one of the things that, um, I'm going to go ahead and use this bars pattern here. Bam. Take a look at this, everybody. Um, I like to use this. Okay. Let me go ahead and go even better and do it even better right now. I'm going to use the bars pattern right now. So are saying something along this side. So what we're seeing thus far is it the repeat on Bitcoin that we had at the middle 2021, right? Is it looking like that? Take a look at this. So can we see an upside for Bitcoin 2021? That is what I'm telling you. And of course, the answer is yes, we'll have way better days for Bitcoin too. So that is Bitcoin. How about on this one? I'm going to go ahead and do this one here. Boom. So are we expecting something like this? This is Bitcoin, everybody. This will be 75,000 Bitcoin, right? Mid 2022, Q2 2022. Q2 2022, back to 70,000, 80,000. Can that happen? Probably, probably. Let's go. Uh, let me go ahead and go over the comments, guys. Congrats on your crow goal. I'm close to my crow goal 4K. Thanks. I'm super happy for you. There you go. Would you keep long trades open for 10 years? Uh, 10 years, I think. If you get a great um, cryptocurrency like Ethereum for 10 years, you're going to be set for life. Great live, Oscar. Carlos, thank you. Appreciate it. Higher lowers, baby. Of course. Nice. So this is one. Let's go ahead and take a look at Crow right now. So for Crow, I'm going to go ahead and the move. Don't forget, guys, to smash the like button right now. I'm going to see you here. I'm going to give you a shout out. So if you're enjoying the live, everybody, smash the like button, uh, the subscribe button. So I see you here and give you a shout out here. Don't forget to like the video if you want to see more content. So for Crow, go ahead and take a look at the bear's pattern. So what we see right now, something like this, right? We're down, down, we're down, we're down, something like this, maybe coming up for Crocoin. That's what I'm saying, guys. If we're repeating the cycles right now for Crow, easily, you know, easily get into that other Fibonacci retracement by looking at what's repeating consecutively re repeating. And this is, you know, a very popular 
way of seeing cryptocurrency, not guaranteed that it's going to happen that way, but um, it has happened in the past when it comes to crow. <laughs> Appreciate it, Jusero. Thank you. Thank you. That's nice. That's nice. So that is for that one, everybody. That's for that one. All righty. Questions, everybody. Let's go. Go ahead and shoot him. I'm all for you for some Q&A. And, and yes, that's what I got for you, honestly. Crowcoin, Shiba Inu, cryptocurrency in general. The crash is plain, classic, new. Um, the health news, you know, with the variant, with this Omicron stuff, crazy stuff, right? And, of course, uh, the Fed minutes, that's always killing us. <laughs> always killing us. But it's fine, guys. We'll be good. We'll be good. A couple of the liquidations, of course, happening. And right now, with the historical values, still extreme fear. Bitcoin crash. Wire cryptocurrencies price falling in New Year's. A couple of the updated things, of course, attributed to the all markets facing the spread of this variant. A couple of people saying Indian news. Imagine. So it is what it is. But great opportunity for us to be buying the dip for all my Shiba Inu holders. Q1, March 2021, Dogecoin and Shiba Inu. Aren't we excited for this one? <laughs> COVID. Um, Mario, I got you, bro. I got you. And I was put, uh, putting this at the beginning of the live. This is the vibe, bro. This is the vibe. Uh, we know it is it is going to be happening. The market is down, but hey, it's not the first time, not the last time. So let's go, everybody. We'll be fine. Absolutely. Can you tell me what you think about Paper by Dope? What's worst project? No idea what the project is. <clears throat> Got Crow and Amber listening to you. Both are down, but we'll wait. There you go. Ashu, super awesome. Definitely. I talked about Am talking and Crow early in the live. You weren't watching. Mm -mm. I did get into Am after hearing Oscar talk about it, but I also understand that Am has payment utility. Absolutely. Uh, one of the things about Am talking, guys, is I haven't had any more Am added to my wallet, to my portfolio. Just got my 100,000. That was very clear. Still holding on that one. After that, went on diversifying. What an amazing choice, honestly. What an amazing choice. <clears throat> Wales love to play these games without some fear in our head. Oh, absolutely. It is what it is, guys. Typically, what we're going to be seeing later on in 2022, what I will expect is uh, the crypto market, uh, crypto markets passing at 3 trillion. And that's when you're going to start seeing the amazing, great news all over the place. Right now, of course, everything doo doo. It is what it is. It is what it is. Absolutely. In 2022, a lot of companies will look into accepting crypto payments because it's what the public wants. And let me give you uh, more tips uh, how I started this live. Not many people were here. Um, all the people that are making a lot of money right now are, are companies that are providing the shovels for people to start mining and finding that uh, top 10x, 100x coin. In this case, the exchanges, right? Um, Coinbase, FTX, uh, BNB, those people are super multi-millionaire people um great place to work out i'm sure to be honest with you <clears throat> i'm literally enamored with this bitcoin dip astroleno that is nice beba what's going on welcome welcome perfect guys let me go ahead and boom nice that's all just me when it comes to cryptocurrencies everybody um i'm Finally, a one-year-old investor in cryptocurrency. About a year a year ago, a Niwalus, welcome. Uh, about a year ago, I started my crypto journey. I decided to hold it off. I decided to purposely wait for me to understand stocks and options better before starting cryptocurrencies. That's what I did, and it was fantastic. 2020 was stocks for me. If you weren't here for the live. I mentioned at the beginning of the live that I'm because it's a new year. Guess what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to fill up my Roth IRA for 2022. Roth IRA retirement accounts, ETFs and index funds to me is my secure, guaranteed way of being a millionaire if everything else fails. 
If you're listening right now, you're looking at your crypto portfolio, it's super red, it's okay. I'm on the same boat too, don't worry. But please diversify, do whatever you want with your money. But what I'm doing is some, a lot of money on crypto, but I also do my Roth IRA boring investing because that is my guaranteed way of later on in life becoming a millionaire. And at least I'm 50 or 60 years old and I don't have to be bothering people to help me survive. That's what I'm doing. And that's been proven so many years. Of course, it's not what we want and it's not what I preach for you to do if you want to be a millionaire right now. But it's a guaranteed way for later on success. Roth IRA retirement, that's what I do. On the other hand, if you're a cryptocurrency investor with the gains of becoming super rich in the next couple of years, then definitely a little bit less of money going to, to the Roth IRA and retirement and a lot more money putting into the trading. You have to understand something, like as I was mentioning earlier in this video, uh, I'm going to get close to my long-term holding amount, which I'm very excited, happy because there's been a lot of work, sacrifice, and effort. Finally, finally, right? When that's done, I'm going to be moving to my trading portfolio where I'm going to be buying, I'm going to be selling, I'm going to be buying, I'm going to be selling. So I think one entire year in crypto gave me the knowledge to see how some crypto behave, how the cycles work, how the charts, I mean, everything. There's a lot of learning. If you are a beginner investor who are watching, my, who you, I mean, you're watching the channel right now, welcome. Super happy that you're here. Honestly, what a great time for you, for me to have you. You're seeing right now the crypto price is completely being surprisingly low. A lot of people probably told you you can become a rich person with crypto and you're seeing the totally opposite. What's happening right now, it's healthy. And this is what we want because here is where millionaires are made. Here's where millionaires are made. How about you? So in all, everybody, pretty excited and happy. Super welcome 2022. There's going to be a lot more content coming in for all of us guys. So to all my subscribers, new subscribers, likes, members, um, mommy of the ACA, appreciate you being here. Thank you so very much for watching and for all your amazing comments. You guys are insane. Let me go back to the comments one last time. Happy New Year, brother. Sound way appreciated. Astro Lenos, always super um, engaged, appreciated. Astro and many more people here. That's incredible stuff. <clears throat> so basically, you are where I want to be in one year, Astro Leno. There you go. That's nice. Are you in the green, Oscar? I am in the green because I'm diversified. Guess what? Because I've been buying my index funds, boring, I mean, the boring stuff that just keeps growing. So I'm in the green. And like I said, I've been buying Ethereum and, um, Algorand very low, so I'm in the green. And there's other coins that I typically don't mention because they're also growing, like HNT, Chainlink, Anchor. I mean, other ones that are also doing very well. <laughs> so in a way, everybody, very happy to have everybody here. WID, thank you so very much, guys. So please be safe. Make sure you like and subscribe before you're leaving. And I'll catch you later, guys. Check all the links down below for your free Bitcoin stocks. Join my Patreon page. It's on the top of the chat if you want all the behind the scenes. Catch you later, guys. More info coming in. And well, 2.05, I see the trillion market, uh, the global crypto market. Not a good day for us, but who cares? Buying the day, baby, and holding strong. Catch you later, guys. Be blessed. Peace. Thank you so very much, guys. Let's go.